Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kaz. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go on a field trip. We're going to make uh, some chicken shish kebabs in here. Let's see, which side's cleaner? Oh, this side's not too bad, I guess. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to grill them. I did bring a barbecue and hopefully it won't rain on us, although it has been known to happen before. You're kidding. Hey, would I kid you? Yes, you would. I know. Hey. Just like with uh, cooking oil and wine glasses, eh? We'll <laughs> start that. Uh, and here, here we have several shish kebab sticks that you can pick these up. You know, I got these at all uh, Oriental Supply Store. It's longer ones. I think they have them at you know the local regular grocery stores. They only have the little short ones like this, and I don't know. I prefer having the longer ones. That way you can get more meat on them. <laughs> <laughs> So do Molten Evermind. Hey, watch that. We're going to lose our family rating. When do we start? What do you mean? When we started a while ago, didn't we? Or is this all just in fun? <laughs> yeah, it's all in fun, folks. And what we have here is a chicken breast filet. And what we do is first I like to trim off all the fat. Nobody likes fat chicks. <laughs> well, some of us do. Oh, yeah. And we just take and slice it into manageable pieces. And are you going to say who's on camera today, Ken? Oh, we have Bob Churchnevich up on the camera today. Joe Johnson, missing in action. <laughs> say hey, better watch it, Joe. I know I got weird hours, but he's not out gaming today, is he? I don't know. Is he out trying to get lucky again? <laughs> Trying. That's the key word. Yeah, well, you didn't sit, hear me say getting lucky. But, anyways, no, where is he? Um, he went to some TV premiere or something. I don't know. TV pre. Oh, man. Hey, we'll give it to Brian permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Brian can be our new permanent cameraman. And. You better watch what you say. He may have to edit that show. Hey, he won't listen to all of it. <laughs> Hopefully he will hear it until it's on TV. And what we have here now is we have some black pepper that we'll take and grind up. And as you can see, we have various vegetables out here. No green leafy vegetables though. Just have some, uh, I don't know, rather oddly shaped vegetables. We got a couple of small zucchinis. We have some red and green peppers. We have some mushrooms. We have some onions. And we have some Italian tomatoes. Yeah, see, there they are. <laughs> Would I lie to you? Come on. And we just take and break this up and, whoa. They're trying to escape. They know what fate befalls them. Whoa, almost befalled on the floor. And we just take and pour that onto our plate there. And here we have a little bit of garlic powder. And we take and put that in there too. And over here. Where I can't see it. Hey. Can't have it. What's he doing, Bob? Digging in the garbage? Yeah. Something wrong with this camera. Who runs this joint? <laughs> <laughs> really, just this establishment. And here we have white pepper. And now we'll just take and mix this around a little bit. And we're going to use this kind of like a, uh, a dry marinade for the chicken because the chicken is a little bit on the moist side to begin with. And just take and push it around on here and give it a little bit of a coating. Hey, John, could you have somebody see how the fire's doing outside? For a dollar. Yeah. I'll oh, take I it out. Not, I'll put it on your next check. I could go out there for a dollar. You gotta watch that thing. That's what I'm paying you for. And what we can do now is start slicing up some of our vegetables. It's about time. This is, the, you know, this is what I've been waiting for the whole show. <laughs> 
Hey, that wasn't sarcastic, Kaz. That was honest. I love to watch you cut up vegetables. I bet you do. Those green leafy vegetables. But we don't have any green leafy vegetables. Oh, well, never mind then. I don't want to see you cut them up. But anyways, I hear that I have quite a fan out in Northville. Bob was telling me. Plymouth or Ken, I don't know if it's Northville. Or oh, Plymouth, somewhere in our, among our Western friends. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, hey, if you're out there and you like the show, even if you don't like the show, if you got enough gumption up to uh, write me a letter, go ahead, write me a letter. Tell me what you think about me. I've gotten a few letters already. As you know, I've read them on the air, and any letters... I will read on the air. They might have to be censored, depending on what you say. And I'm still willing to let some people come on the show as kind of like a uh, studio guest. I've done that a few times already. I've had a lot of success with it. As you can see, I'm still doing it. <laughs> no, just kidding, folks. I don't know. It's just the schedule I've been keeping has made it kind of hard to, you know, do shows on a really regular basis because, you know, Every time I turn around and I'm ready to do a show, Bob calls me up and says, Hey, you can't do a show today. And it's like, oh, really? But I got everything all set already. And it's like, oh, well. And so then the following week, I couldn't do a show. And uh, So there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, uh, what do we do the next week? Oh, this is the next week. And we couldn't do one this Friday <laughs> because uh, equipment's getting sent out. And, you know, it's just all kinds of little stuff like that. Yeah, but you know, with the hours that I work, I was on uh, days last week, I'm back on nights this week, next week, who knows? You know, that's the way things are going at work right now, but we'll see what happens. Our Star Wars system is up and running. I'll have to keep you posted on that. It's our new automatic bottle sorting system. Supposedly Ooh. state of the art. Yeah. Tell us more. Tell us more. Well, I don't know if I should. It might be a company secret. <laughs> you know, there could be some Pepsi spies out there. <laughs> Now, it's, it, I'll tell you folks, it's really something. It really is. I see it as it might be one heck of a challenge for me. You know, I live for the challenge. Not for onions, for the challenge. Yeah, there you go. But anyways, let's see what else is happening. What's new with you, John? Oh, not much, Cass. How about yourself? Hey, did you hear anything from uh, our friends at the border? Uh, no, not until next Tuesday. Oh, next Tuesday? Oh, Cause I remember you told me about it. Trying but to get across, or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> has been for years. That wet back of his. Easy now. <laughs> what? You just wanna, ask him. He you sweats. Don't want to offend anyone. Up he there. sweats a lot. No, <laughs> back I, I, when we used to play baseball, I mean basketball, we used to call him growth back. Is that yeah, you know, he could take a squeegee and uh, get you know get the water off of his back. All right, I'll yeah, let that's you. enough. Kevin. I'll let that one go. This is a cooking show, okay? <laughs> Maybe later on I'll come out and show the people, huh? Yeah, you're just embarrassed. And here we have some pieces of pepper. Might as well throw on some of the red one. The red one's a hot one. I have to make sure I give John some of that one. <laughs> he loves that hot stuff. Hey John, were you with us at one time when we went to go see Queen? At never. No, no. Nope. You've never seen Queen? I wasn't there. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the Bolsheviks. Yeah, the Bolsheviks. They were passing out <laughs> literature out in front, remember? <laughs> That's right, I was there. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. Sorry. See, Bob, you put a bad idea in my head earlier. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. This is rather flustering for me. Normally, I have a little bit more control. Bob put that idea in your head? Yeah. Well, he hasn't been the same after that operation. <laughs> what? What? How much you think? <laughs> Never mind. He's not the man he used to be. And you may have seen me taking these uh, sticks here out of our bottle of wine here. And normally you soak them in water so that they, uh, you know, get a lot of moisture in them so that they don't burn when you have them on the barbecue. But even though the wine has a little bit of alcohol in it, I don't think they'll burn. Besides, I didn't have anything to put water into big enough to put these in, so I said, well, I'll just drop them in the bottle of wine. It also kept people from coming up and uh, <laughs> taking swigs out of it. Kind of like bungee sticks, you know? Maybe I should patent the idea. You wouldn't have people walking up to you on the street, hey man, let me hit your pot. Okay, and what we do now is we start putting on our chicken and vegetables. Hey, how did you find out how the fire's going out there? Yeah, it's doing fine. Doing fine? And coal's white yet? Yeah, it's about going out. It's about going out. <laughs> hmm, we need a smaller piece of tomato here. Hey, Cass, could you have some steady hands on this? Uh, we got a rookie cameraman. Why don't you do it uh, like that? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm used to having a professional up there. 
pan, you just alternate with what you're using, you know, and there's really no set ingredients for this, you know, what kind of uh, vegetables you should put on or anything like that. And I was going to pick up some pineapple too, you know, because putting those like big chunks of pineapples on there is uh, <laughs> extra meat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, putting, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, with all the stuff I had, you know, I didn't need any more pineapples or anything like that. And look, Bob, I have your favorite fruit. Mushrooms. See? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. No. <laughs> Not after the operation. <laughs> John, you and I are going to talk. Man, maybe we won't talk, but... Hey, once you step out here, man, you're open game. I remember, I wear glasses, though. Yeah, well. <laughs> so does he. That makes it okay. Let's see, what else should we put on here? And... A little, little bit more chicken. And you know what else is also very good on this is uh, making it like with seafood. I've uh, been wanting to try that lately. I saw a recipe in the last issue of Bon Appetit for that. And what they were using was uh, large shrimp. You know, they kind of curl them and put them on there, you know, so that they kind of like double skewered them. And then they had uh, like a uh, Small, they were either large bay scallops or small sea scallops. And what they did was they took a piece of, you know, prosciutto, the um, Italian ham, and they wrapped it around it and then put it on there. You know, then with uh, various vegetables and all that stuff. And it looked very good. I was thinking about giving that a try. But, you know, I'm experimenting a lot more with seafood nowadays. And here we have one shish kebab. And put another, do another one up now. I figure two will be enough, wouldn't you say, John? I'll take three, please. I haven't eaten today yet. I've been savoring this moment. Ah. <laughs> Don't believe that, dude. Boy, are you in for a surprise. <laughs> and take and thread up our other one. See, actually, I'm doing the show rather late today. Had somebody else in the studio earlier. See, I was supposed to do a show yesterday, but I bought a new refrigerator and a new stove, and they were supposed to be delivered yesterday. And I'm not going to say who I bought it from, but let's just say their name is initials. Because, you know, it's just letters. Um, let's see now. <laughs> let's see now. Uh, and, and so, I called up finally after waiting all day, and uh, they said, oh, geez, we're sorry. We forgot to put them on the truck. Oh no, they put the wrong date on the uh, invoice. They were supposed to be out Monday then, but they didn't come out Monday either because I was home all day. So These initials have like uh, a form of money after the first two initials, or do they have another word after their initials? It's just letters. Just letters? Just letters. They are, are they in sequence, guys? Could be. Could be. <laughs> this could be easy as ABC. Oh. Could very could well be. be. <laughs> Didn't, who was but it? Then we don't want to plug anybody, so we're not going to say. Hey, I'm not plugging them, man. I'm just. <laughs> You're going to plug them, all right? Yeah. If I had my gun back from the police department, I might, but that's neither here nor there. Yes, folks, I did buy a new handgun. Those of you out there that are against handguns, I'm sorry, but hey, I like handguns. What can I say? Right, John? Yeah, you're going to get letters about that now. Fine, send me a letter. Let <laughs> me know what you think. Although, I'll tell you right now, I am not a member of the NRA and do not intend on joining the NRA. Now, anybody out there who belongs to the NRA and is upset because of that, send me a letter. How about PNA? PNA? <laughs> what are they against? <laughs> What are they for? For a while. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I know too many people that go there. Some close people, don't they? Yeah, yeah but they don't watch the show. <laughs> and, uh, maybe we'll shove one more piece of chicken on each of these and an extra piece of, no, not tomato, we got tomato there. Ah, a piece of zucchini to seal it in, to seal the bargain. There we go with that. And what we can do here, take these couple of small pieces. Just taking. Time to get uh, Bob off the drugs. He's going wild. Bob, you told me you'd quit. <coughs> <laughs> He's been taking them more after the operation. 
And another zucchini to close it off on this end. It's gonna be an, an <laughs> operation in your future, bud. <laughs> Plastic oh, surgery. Yeah, quit. You quit? Right, Good. Huh? Quit? <laughs> what? Billy, direct the rest of the show. <laughs> Bob Churknevich had no operation. There you go, folks. I apologize for that. Yeah, it wasn't really an operation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's falling apart Out, here. Outpatient. I lost something. Many years, years ago. ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Stephen Wright says, yeah, yesterday I was... No, wait, that wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> that guy is nuts. Yeah, he I is. <laughs> I like the thing with his pony. Yeah. Where uh, his pony was in a very strange electrolysis accident years ago, and as a result of it, he lost all of his hair, except for the hair on his tail. And so now he just rents him out to Hare Krishna family picnics. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, that's neither here nor there. Hey, here we have our two shish kebabs. Shish kebab. And I guess what we're going to do is take it on the load, I mean take it on the road, and move to the outside. Hopefully all our equipment is still there. We have some uh, new volunteers keeping an eye on things. Just hope they're keeping an eye on the equipment. And just refresh things a little bit. Hey, hey not too much now. Yeah, that's true. I do have to go to work tonight. Just kidding, Lou. <laughs> well, let's go outside. Yeah! <laughs> I am, eh? And so, here we are in the great outdoors once again. I'm not going to use that same joke again, Bob, don't worry. And uh, as you can see, we have our chicken shish kebab sitting out here already. Sizzling away. Actually, if you want, what you could do is take and uh, mix a little bit of garlic uh, powder. Use powder, not salt. I don't like using garlic salt. And with a little bit of olive oil, and you can brush that on to keep it moist. But I don't think we'll really have a problem with moisture on this. Besides, it's just for the crew. It's not like I'm going to be eating it. <laughs> Thanks, <right>. Cash. <laughs> not like it's anybody in port. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. And so, all we can do now is stand around and watch the shish kebabs cook. Sounds like another break to me. Uh, <laughs> How many PSAs you got, Bob? <laughs> yeah, you got about we 20 minutes left. library, don't worry. Yeah. The Statue of Liberty's torch is out. The beacon of freedom to all the world is in this workshop, severely damaged by weather, pollution, and age, as were many other critical parts. They must be restored or replaced, and that takes money. If you still believe in her, help finish the job. Let the world know we will keep the torch burning for generations to come. Send your contribution to The Lady, Box 1986, New York. Okay, now I guess we're back again. Got some spectators hanging around. Bob, call the police, would you? <laughs> we gotta keep these riffraff away from here. And as you can see, our shish kebabs are going rather well here. Some more people came by, so we had to throw some more stuff on the grill. Here we have a veggie kebab and a couple of loose breasts hanging around. We have to move those in on the fire when we get our shish kebabs off. And our shish kebabs appear to be done. And I do say appear to be. I hope so, it's getting dark. Oh, that's right, I hope you folks out there can see us. It is getting a little bit dark out here. But you know how the sun does tend to go down. What happened to the security in this place, man? <laughs> Kaz, you're that's on. That's him. You're a little late, aren't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is someone left me out. No, you mean somebody opened the gate. <laughs> and so, I guess we can pull these uh, kebabs off the grill here. Almost clean. <laughs> like a cat. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not into that. And, oh, our stick is breaking. She's breaking up, she's breaking up. Here, I have, I have room right here. <laughs> hey, you don't have to ask the crew to come up, I'm here. Yeah, the crew is here, huh? <laughs> there you go, John. Now what are you going to do? Hey, one for a dollar, one for a dollar. Just bring the uh, forks out. Scooter. There's one here. Bring another fork out? Rather crusty. Oh, wait a minute. Let's move this in a little bit here. Now, come on. We need a volunteer to come in here and try this. Really? Any Somebody has to eat this, and we wait 15 <laughs> minutes. Any volunteers? See if anything happens. <laughs> flies. Any volunteers? Scooter, get in. Get in. Scooter, come on out here. Come here, Chris. 
Come here. Why not? We need you to try this. It's not like anybody you know is going to see you. <laughs> this just goes to Hamtramck, Plymouth, Canada. Wait, wait, wait. I will get a volunteer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and here comes another volunteer. <laughs> hot dog. Hot dog. No hot dog. No hot dog. Here, you want to cover up here? <laughs> here, I'll hold on. We're going to take the pepper off the end. Oh, there it is. There it is. Try it. No. Let us know if it's ready. <laughs> Call EMS, have, have them stand by. Hot. Hot, hot? Yeah, I know. I put a lot of garlic and all. White pepper on it. Cat. Cat. Yo, hurry up and make sure she eats quick, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue it. Not bad, kid. I bet you will. Thank you. I might as well try it myself since I'm out here. John, you want to try this? Yes. Yeah, well, come here and hold this. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> can only hold one thing at a time, eh? Eh? Hey. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Very spicy. That's that last pepper you put in. No, it's garlic. Folks, if you want it spicy, get the garlic out. No, nah, it's only the garlic out. And so, I guess this brings another episode <laughs> of Cooking with Cats to an end. I hope you all had as much fun as I did. If not, I hope you can... No, uh, never mind. But anyways, that brings another episode to an end. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I know I enjoyed myself. How about you, John? I sure did. We'll talk with your mouth. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting, I swear. And so, have a good day and may your God go with you. <laughs> on the plate, Cam. <laughs> yeah, I landed on the plate. It only bounced once. That's your fork now, Cam. <laughs> to the Batmobile. Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. Roger. Ready to move out.